Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jules Emily here. And before you go any further in this video, please don't forget to join the Jules Emily family. As you guys can see by the title, we will be going in with the Vib Muse Concealer and Powder. Now for you guys today, I have two shades. Now right here we have the carton. So this is how the cartons look like. Um, I did pick up shades Tan 2 and Medium 5. Now a little bit of specs on these concealers. Now this concealer is priced at £22. There are 20 shades in this concealer. And I did manage to pick this up from Cult Beauty, Harrods, the main site, and probably other stores. Now I did pick this up from Cult Beauty, as I mentioned, on 15% off. And they currently still do have that 15% off currently on. This concealer comes in undertones such as gold, peach, cool pink, pink, warm beige, and neutral. For the shade medium 5, I'm gonna put on one side and then the other shade on the other. You guys can see up close some personal then I just mix the two after I'm finished. Um, the medium 5 looks like this. Now, I know it kind of looks light, but hard to choose my shade. I'm not gonna lie. On Cult Beauty, it was hard. Even when I went on her Instagram page, it looked darker in picture than it did when it came. The shade Medium 5 has a peach undertone. Now, to be fair, I don't wanna be talking too much, but I've been loving peach undertones on me of recently. But let me swatch Medium 5 once again with peach undertone. And I also got Tan 2, which also has a peach undertone. So these are the two side by side. They do vary from light, medium, tan, and dark. You have five shades in each of those categories. Tan 5 is two shades darker than medium 5. I'm gonna swatch these two for you guys. So this is how medium 5 looks like and this is what tan 2 looks like. So that's tan 2 and medium 5. A few other concealers that I've been loving from different companies so you guys can kind of gauge these concealers. KVD Beauty Concealer in tan 162. Swatching again, I think it's probably closer to this one. So that's that one comparing to the Vive Tan 2. This is the Kat Von D. Huda Beauty Concealers. And for the darkest shade with, that I have in this concealer, I'm gonna take Peanut Butter it has a red undertone. And I'm just gonna put that there so you can see that's the darkest one out of the two. Out of all of these shades down the bottom. And then I'm going to take Candid Ginger, which meant to have a golden undertone. I'm gonna put this right so you can see. For my all-time favorite concealer, which is my HMB Cosmetics Concealer, I'm gonna swatch the two. Now, one of the lighter shades that I have in this concealer is SFW3, which is for like when I really wanna go bright. I just put it on top. And you can see that it's very much similar. And I have another, and this is 3.5N in the HMB concealer. Just put it right on top and you can see that right there. Which seems very close to this one. And the last shade I'm taking SFW from HMB Cosmetics and putting that side by side with the Vive Tan 2. You can see that these other concealers are much done. Now to jump right in with this concealer, taking medium 5 once again with a peach undertone. Right off the bat, this concealer is very creamy. Then on this side, I'm taking Tan 2, which is also a peach undertone. Right off the bat, I prefer this. Okay, now taking Tan 2, and the rest of the parts that I usually highlight. I love how thick this doe foot applicator is, by the way. It's very thick and it does cover a lot of surface area. 
favorite concealer has 15 grams in product the huda beauty concealer has nine milliliters and the vive has 13 milliliters which is way more than the Huda Beauty one. Now a moment of truth with this concealer. Once again, I did mention that this concealer does come off thick in consistency, but let's see how it blends out. That's too much. Right off the bat, we both know this concealer, you don't need a lot. Just a little bit goes a long way. That's way too much. This sponge just has foundation on it. So, just blending that. Now this concealer does blend out seamlessly. And it feels a very lightweight on the skin by the way. Just going around the edges with my foundation sponge or the sponge that has foundation on it. Now this is my eyes up close. So this side has the medium 5 and this side has the tan 5. Right off the bat I don't see much difference in color that much to be honest. But I'll still use both nevertheless let's see how this concealer holds up throughout the day and i will determine if i will purchase the darker shade or not in the future this concealer is meant to be the modern radiance concealer so yeah it is giving that nice radiance full coverage and if you want to share it out you don't have to use that much product like i did but it's kind of like a first impression as well so yeah um so this is the packaging for the powder this powder is priced at 26 pounds there is four shades which starts from light medium tan and dark i also got this powder on 15 percent off on cult beauty this also comes in a refillable container for 20 pounds this is what the shade medium looks like for color reference with this powder, I think I'm going to swatch the Huda Beauty in Blondie because it's right in front of me. Um, in Blondie and I'm just swatching it right here and blend it out. And then I'm taking the Vive one. So you can see the color is not that far off. Now anyways, going in with the other side of my sponge and I'm gonna apply this. By the way, there is kickback on this powder. Just making sure there's no creases with the concealer. Then going in with the powder. And I'm just patting that right in. This powder is meant to give you an airbrush finish. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face off camera and be right back to give you my final thoughts on this product. Hey guys, so this is the final look with the Vive Muse Concealer and the powder. I rate this concealer 4.5 out of 5, reason being there's not a lot of shades, but I do love how it's looking under my under eye. 
including the powder the powder i would give a solid five i love how smooth my under eye is looking i will do a comparison video with my charlotte tilbury so you guys so you guys can see it side by side because the charlotte tilbury powder is my holy grail or i might try next to the huda beauty in banana bread 